In this video, we're going to look at how to keep our standalone 11 rack editor on top of our other Pro Tools windows. So if you watched the previous video, you'll know that basically the standalone 11 rack editor is the same as the integrated editor that we already had in Pro Tools 10 and lower. And in this video, we are using Pro Tools 10 just to demo this. So again, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that a couple of things that have changed would be say in the user options, here in the standalone editor, we don't have the option to embed rig settings from. If you watch the previous video, you'll know that's now handled in setup and IO and the input tab in Pro Tools 11. And you'll also know that when we go to save individual effect presets, not full rigs, but individual effect presets, that they are now saved to a specific root settings folder. So other than that, there is very little that has changed but one other thing that you may notice now that you have the standalone 11 rack editor installed is that if I click away to say, maybe I want to mute this track and I click on the track, our standalone editor gets sent behind the window. So here's the integrated editor and we're in Pro Tools 10 for this. And if I click, you notice that this, the integrated editor will stay on top of our other windows, no matter what I'm doing here in Pro Tools. So that currently is not the same for our standalone 11 rack editor. And we are of course right now in version one. So at least with version one, if we go to say change our volume, then our window gets sent to the back. So a couple of different ways we could deal with this would be to resize our Pro Tools window, maybe resize this down a bit and then have our standalone editor over to the side, whatever side you choose and then just resize your windows within Pro Tools so you can get to them and you can uh, make whatever changes you need to without having to flip back and forth between windows. But there's actually a free utility called Always On Top that will keep any window, including our standalone 11 rack editor on top of our Pro Tools windows. So let's check that out now. So first you want to come to this website and I'll be sure to have the direct link in the description to this website. So once you get to this page, you'll need to scroll down a bit and the link is a bit hard to find, but come down to about where it says to get started, download the always on top utility from Dropbox. And the link is right here. So it's a bit hard to find, but it's right there. Simply click that. So after you download the utility, you'll need to unzip it. After it's unzipped, you'll get these two files, the actual application file and a readme file. So if you need help, you can go back to the website or contact them on Twitter. This is a very easy utility to use. So here's the instructions right here. So we launch the utility, select the window and press control and space. And that'll stick that window to the front. It's that easy. So there's no installation required. So all I have to do is double click. Now it looks like nothing happened, but I'm here on Windows 8. This may be a bit different on Windows 7. If I come down to my tray, you notice now I have this DI right there. If I open up my tray, we can see it here. I can right click. I can suspend hotkeys, pause the script and exit right here by right clicking but we want to keep this open. Then you need to open your 11 rack editor, or if you already have it open as I do, I'll just bring it up here. So now I'll select this window just by clicking on it, making sure it's in focus. See if I click pro tools, you'll see now this window's in focus. So just click it. And now I'll simply hit control and space. So control space, there we go. So now this window should be stuck. So let's see, let me hit mute. There you go. You'll see that the window is not in focus, but it's still on top. So now our standalone editor acts pretty much the same as our integrated editor. So now I can make adjustments, say to panning, the volume, I can say add plugins or whatever I wanna do. And it stays right on top, just like the integrated editor. So you see now I can have both of these editors open and no matter which one I click, they both stay on top. Pretty cool. And if for some reason you want to unstick your editor, say you want to be able to hide the editor again, you can just again, select the window, hit control and space. And now when I go to say mute, now it sends that window to the back again, and I can always reactivate it. As long as I have this script active, select the window, control space. Now it's stuck. I can make whatever changes I want. And it stays right on top. <laughs> 